Okay, so we've got the basement and I think a little bit of the first floor covered. But now we get to explore some of the planes. And I'm assuming some of the upper levels to this place. But yeah, for some reason I've noticed... These Feral Ghoul Reavers are so much easier than they were back in Fallout 3. Which is kind of weird because it seems like the glowing ones have gotten a lot tougher in this game. And I felt like back in Fallout 3, it was almost the opposite. The Reavers were the tougher ones, and then the glowing ones were a bit on the easier side. But I think it's kind of a cool change because the glowing ones are more irradiated, so in theory... They would do more damage. Not really sure why they made the change. Or if it even was changed. For all I know, I could be going crazy. And maybe they were never tougher at all. But yeah, hopefully this will take us somewhere inside. That's it. To a point where maybe we can get to the rest of the airport. So far, it looks like it. Oh no. That can't be good. Hopefully, they can't open doors. I guess we're about to find out, though, aren't we? What's going on? Oh, they can. Gosh dang it. Yeah, I'm not really sure how long that'll hold them off. But we better be ready. Yeah, there's Reavers all over the place. Because there were two back in the plane. And then I think we've seen two inside here as well. And I can't even remember how many were down in that basement. It's really cool to see all the different types of enemies in this game though. Because back in the previous fallouts, there wasn't really a large variety in the types of certain enemies. Because there were like feral ghouls and then feral ghoul reavers. But in this game, they have like withered ones, feral ghoul roamers, just a large assortment. And same with the death claws and whatnot as well. They did do a little bit in New Vegas with all the different enemies. So maybe that's kind of feeding in here. Which really is quite nice. It's always cool when you have a larger variety of different things you can fight. You know, one of the things I'll admit I was kind of let down about in this game, and maybe it's just me, but I swear they've gotten smaller. The Super Mutant Behemoths? I felt like in Fallout 3 those things were so much bigger. I'm not sure why that is, but I feel like that was the case. You know, my only guess for why they would have made them smaller is maybe just for like a realism factor? Safety off. Because it seems like the normal super mutants are also just a tad bit smaller. And who knows, maybe that's to humanize them a little bit? Because for those of you who don't know, they did used to be humans and then they ended up becoming a science experiment. <gasps> but yeah, I guess that's just my thoughts on them. 
All right, McCready, you ready? Because I'm moving up. But I thought the way to the top was blocked off. So I'll look for another way up. Just so we can kind of get a nice view of anything that might be around here. And I'll see you guys once we're up there. You know, guys, I was considering just heading back to Bunker Hill after this. But after seeing all that stuff out on the water, it really does want to make me go explore it. So you know what? We'll go check it out. And by the looks of it, we may not even have to swim. Because it looks like there's a bridge right there that should get us across. And then hopefully there's another bridge for each one of the other islands as well. Or maybe they'll just be close enough to the point where we don't get that much radiation. Whoa, what was that? Sounds like some kind of a race to me. What a race! What a race! This is the best piece of robot I've ever seen. Wait. Why are they attacking us? Yeah, this is kind of weird. I really do hope they weren't friendly to begin with. And then maybe we set them off by accident. Although, now that I'm seeing these raiders, I'm kind of thinking that's not the case. Because we have seen something quite similar to this in the past. If you guys remember the combat zone. Because we went in there before, and it seemed really cool. I even thought we would get to fight in the arena. And then it turned out raiders were controlling the whole thing. And they pretty much just turned on us and shot us on sight. And it looks to me like that's exactly what's happening here as well. Keep your eyes open. I think this He's in the camp. Call in the bots. Turn them loose. Oh no, more bots? This can't be good. Is that the iBot making all those noises? Oh man, that's great. Alright. Where is that guy? Oh wow. It's one of them trigger men. Oh, you know what guys? I would really not be surprised if the announcer guy here was the exact same guy we saw back at the combat zone and maybe he just found himself a new job I think that would actually be kinda cool man these guys are just everywhere aren't they this is crazy And what the heck is this place even? Is this some kind of old baseball field? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Raider Scum. Yeah, that name is quite fitting. Oh, it's shadowed. I have been on the lookout for some chameleon armor. And I'm pretty sure what it does is it turns you invisible. Which sounds pretty damn cool to me. And I know for sure that we've seen it before. But back then I really did not know what it did. 
So, for some reason, I decided not to pick it up. But I'm fairly certain all you need is one piece. And then you turn invisible. It's not really like you need the full set or anything. Looks like there might be one more, and they could potentially be above us somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Oh, Ernie? He must be the announcer. He sounded like him, at least. I'm not exactly sure how we get up there, though. Because I sure don't see any stairs. So who knows? Gonna break every bone in your body. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, there really isn't a way up there, is there? What a waste of time. Oh, I guess maybe you would have to take I'm feeling eyes on my that back. scaffolding. So now we just need to find the stairs that go up there. And then we should be good to go. Alright, we are almost there. Hopefully we don't fall off. Here he is. Eager Ernie. And he's got a key. Oh, and a password. Nice. Ooh, associate's note? Okay, we'll check that out in just a second. So we'll head on over to the miscellaneous. And it should be this one here. Which says... Wire raised the tribute again. We're paying almost half our take to Libertalia now. I've got Tommy working over the books. I need you to find a better way to rig these races. Take a couple bots offline and see what you can do. Uh-oh. Sounds like a bit of cheating might have been going on. Although I can't blame them. They are raiders after all. Yes. Okay, so now we should be on the lookout for... Okay, here's his terminal. And there should also be some kind of a crate lying around here somewhere. Oh, we can stop the race, change the route, change targeting parameters, some combat stuff, activate the reserve robots... Not so sure that's a good idea. Or, we could activate the emergency self-destruct. I'm not sure about you guys, but to me, that sounds like an awesome idea. Alright guys, here we go. Man, how many were there? Yeah, it's a damn good thing we didn't bring them back online. Alright, down we go. And like I was saying earlier, I did want to check out the other islands that we spotted. So now that this place is taken care of, 
we will head that direction right now. Oh man, looks like the robots are still blowing up. I almost feel bad for them in a way. But I'm sure they would have done the same to us. Are these more parts of a plane? Oh cool, someone made a shelter out of it. Yeah, there's actually quite a bit out here, isn't there? And it looks like way over there, there's some kind of a lighthouse. Seems like there's a mill over there with maybe another town on the side of it. Oh wow. And that there looks like a city made out of a boat. So that might be fun to check out later. Although maybe since Bunker Hill is kind of that way, we could start by going all the way to the right, since we did already check out the airport. And then on our way back, we'll check out some of those other things. And hopefully it all works out for the best. Oh, and you know what? Before we go that way, I'm curious to see what's in here. It almost seems to be some kind of a farm or settlement. Huh? I'm not sure if they need anything, though. Hi. Because usually they have a special name when they have to say something to you. But maybe not in this case. You're with the Minutemen, right? Yeah, why do you ask? You in some kind of trouble? A pack of feral ghouls have holed up nearby, and some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering out this way, we may be overrun. We need someone to clear them out. Could you tell me where they are? Where are they holed up? Here, I'll mark it for you. Thank you for your help. It means a lot to us. Alright, we may want to check where exactly on the map this thing was. So kill the ghouls in the National Guard training yard? Oh man, that place? Yeah, that's way far away. We are definitely not going there. And now that I think about it, we already did a mission clearing ghouls for some other settlement at that place. If you guys don't remember what it was, it was that military building next to all the satellite dishes where there were just tons of super mutants. It was a real pain in the ass. But we've already gone over there twice, so I really don't think there's any sense in going there another time. But looky here. Oh man. Gotta be something valuable. Another XO one suit. Protection. All right, this will be good. And a lot of you guys keep telling me that apparently this is the best power armor in the game. Which I think is awesome, because to me it's the best looking. I've always thought it looked really cool and definitely stands out from all the others. There's no way he's the only one. But why did it get so quiet? Oh, now I can hear him. Oh, 
Okay, who's next? All right, nobody really. Uh, we've got to see what's inside this place. Yeah, it kind of seems like the outside area here is rather barren. But maybe there's a lot more inside. Ah, oh, crap. That is not really what I needed him to do. You see, I was kind of hoping he would die. But it turns out he's a fighter. Oh, man. Rapid plasma scatter gun? Yeah, I'm gonna have to take this. That is awesome. I might even use that too. Because we are in the power armor now, so we get to carry a lot more. So let's see, weapons, and it shouldn't be too far down. There we go. Rapid plasma scatter gun. I have a feeling this thing's gonna be a blast to shoot. And we've only fired one plasma weapon before, and it was just the pistol. And that thing was awesome. So imagine how much better this one's gonna be. Fort Strong? Seems like a fitting name, doesn't it? So maybe we should sneak around and look for a smarter way in. If you want to root through this mess, go right ahead. Oh, trust me, McCready. I will. Just as soon as I get this door opened. Got it. Oh, yeah. This gun is incredible. Yeah, it pretty much kills him in... About three shots, doesn't it? Which is a lot less than most guns. Okay, this guy's gonna take quite a bit more. He doesn't seem to be going down without a fight. Oh man, finally. Troubleshooters, leather chest piece. And this reduces damage from robots by 15%. You know, it is cool and all, but I don't really see us ever using that. So maybe there will be something around here that's more our style. Only one of us survives this, and it won't be you! Oh man, he's melting. Okay, so we have seen most of the downstairs. Now, was there an upstairs at all? Oh, we never went inside this room, did we?
Army just unloaded the first batch of the uh, M42s this morning. I've only seen the specs for these little beauties on paper, so Private Bertram and I snuck down to take an early look. When I heard that the eggheads were designing a manned portable nuke launcher, I thought they were nuts. But they actually got the damn thing to work. And after seeing the real thing sitting right in front of me, I think they could be just enough to tip the balance of this war in our favor. I mean, can you imagine the look on the enemy's face when we get dropped into Anchorage carrying these babies? They won't know what hit them. Yeah, if you didn't realize already, he was talking about the fat man. So maybe, if we're lucky, there will be one of those inside here. This place is trashed. Although, so far, I'm not really seeing any other ways around the place. So, unfortunately, it's time to head on out of here.